Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley even as he thanked Acting Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams for his seven years of service said the government cannot accept the notification of his nomination by the Police Service Commission to the Office of Commissioner of Police. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, speaking on Friday in the House of Representatives during a special sitting, explained that it would not be wise to approve the notification of Stephen Williams's nomination to the office of Commissioner of Police. He said this is because Mr. Williams will be heading on pre-retirement leave soon. And therefore, Madam Speaker, the government will not accept this nomination, this notification, because we expect to respond in a way that will bring about some element of change. And after seven years, Madam Speaker, we do not believe that just a confirmation of the, not the incumbent, but the holder in an acting position will change it. Madam Speaker, we cannot make a confirmation here today and tomorrow is business as usual. That is not what Trinidad today requires now. The Prime Minister said the notification would not bring the necessary change to treat with crime in this country. He noted that Mr. Williams' service to this country would not go unnoticed. Because, Madam Speaker, I think the system has been unfair to him. Correct. And even in that period of unfairness, he did give it his best shot. So, Madam Speaker, having said that, we are confined, we are constricted and circumscribed by the Constitution. This matter goes back to the Commission to continue the process. He said the selection process must be changed. As it pertains to the sitting being scheduled during Parliament's fixed recess period, Dr. Rowley said the country's business warrants priority. So, Madam Speaker, on one side we are being told it's a crisis, it's urgent. We need to do this, we need to do that. And now that we are in a position, because we were not in a position before, Madam Speaker, if we were in a position before, I give you the assurance that we on this side and those on the other side, we would have been here before doing this. Yes, it can be said that we could have been on vacation. Madam Speaker, I would love to have been on vacation. <laughs> you know I was on vacation. <laughs> Madam Speaker. Responding to the Prime Minister, Member of Parliament for Naparima, Rodney Charles, said today's special, special sitting was a waste of taxpayers' dollars to do nothing. Today, $400,000 of taxpayers' money that is wasted. We have done it three times, so we are talking about $1.2 million. And when we add on the 3.2 that we just paid to hire KPMG, we have spent a total of $4.4 million to achieve nothing, Madam Speaker. So why are we here today? Because the Prime Minister says we have to follow the law and he, and, 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 and he is the last to know. Mr. Charles has said the reasons for not selecting the nominees for police commissioner don't make sense. I heard it on radio stations and I heard it in the media that they somehow they have bought into this flawed argument. This flawed argument that, that, that two persons did not apply for the job and therefore they couldn't be selected. And Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, any elementary management MBA student would tell you that in an interview process, if someone is being interviewed and you determine that that person may be better suited in another area, that management and leadership reserves the right in order to make the necessary adjustments.